Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to find out why my BMW engine failed. If you didn't catch the last video, I pulled my N54 motor from my 335i. That's a self-adjusting clutch, so I'll just have to reset it when I'm done. Now I'm going to start removing some of the accessories that are in the way. So that's obviously it for this side. We're gonna flip the motor around now and do the other side. As expected, the oil coming out of the turbos looks clean because if the oil filter did its job, we shouldn't have anything inside the turbos. I didn't even see anything inside my oil cooler lines. So I'm just gonna to have to count on that because it looks clean. Not much I can do hoping the turbos are fine. So a thought that came to mind is we're gonna to have to drain the oil. I should probably take a sample out of there now because I'm gonna send it off and then we're gonna get the coolant out of here. Um, so let's do the oil and then we'll come back, turn the motor over and see if the coolant dumps out from here instead of doing the block drain. So I got my sample that I'll send away. I drained the oil and I didn't have a glitter show like I was expecting. Let's turn the motor on its side so we can dump out coolant. All the oil passages are clean. There's no shavings or anything in them. So there isn't really any coolant coming out of the motor. Let's take off the power steering pump. AC compressor comes off next. Mix up the alternator. Let's take off my Helix overdrive. Okay, so I think that's enough disassembly to get into the bottom end and see what's going on.
We're going to take off the oil pump. Number three, it's moving around. There isn't a lot of shavings in this motor. It's just, it was just one cylinder. That's a spun bearing for sure. Crankshaft is damaged. Right there, as we were expecting. That's a spun bearing. I'm pretty in tune with this car, so I knew the moment it happened and just kind of took it easy and limped it home knowing that this motor was done. So this number four is right up at the top here. We'll check it. Number four is the hottest cylinder actually. So if this is in good shape, then we know that it was just a detonation issue or cold oil, et cetera, pushing the car too hard. Um, you know, these aren't completely toast. That's why I didn't find anything in the oil. And I actually could have shut the car off right there and everything and tried to limp it home. And But I knew right away it's not worth saving. So let's go after this. Number four, not pretty, but not shot. There's number four. It took some abuse, but it didn't spin. It's not tor terrible, actually. So I went all the way to cylinder one just to see if that had taken a beating as well and it looks like it has. I just wiped that off the bottom end. So I'm gonna go with my theory that it was cold oil and a little bit too much abuse because they're all affected and then number three took the biggest beating. Going to King Bearings, uh, I'm not sure if maybe my clearance was a little bit too loose, meaning you gotta get some heat into it first. Um, either way, uh, I'm gonna just chalk it up to not taking care of uh, making sure the motor was fully warmed up before I beat on it. I don't see any bent rods or, I see lack of oiling on all the connecting rods and number three was the one to go. Usually it's four and five that would go. They're the hottest cylinders um, and that didn't happen here it was number three and any one of these could have gone at a later date So if you guys have any knowledge, uh, let me know if you think it was just bad clearancing and not being able to use plastic gauge So if we're gonna rebuild this motor, we'll have to save the crankshaft by grinding it down and going oversized bearings and whatnot But I would leave that to the machine shop so we can trust the values and I don't see a whole bunch of uh, shavings actually because this didn't completely disintegrate it just started to fail so luckily there's just some large particles and nothing that got past the oil filter. There's nothing in the oil. There's not any sparkle. So that's good for me for my uh, turbos. All right guys, that'll conclude this video showing you what happened to my motor. In the next video, we'll receive the new motor and do some maintenance on it. If this is the first video you're catching on mine, please consider subscribing. I do upload regularly. Thanks for watching.